Hello again everyone, Edwin Leonard back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the October 28th, 2023 Lunar Eclipse in Taurus Part 2 of 2. Now it's also important, it's important to look at the electional aspects this transit makes us. This could impact how it affects others. Now it's going to make a conjunction to the North Node in Aries. Now this can manifest in a number of ways. One way uh, may be that whatever is connected with the lunar eclipse may have a strong impact on one's future. Um, there may be a revelation or unveiling of uh, needing to develop um, Aries qualities that can be a calling to be more aggressive, assertive, forceful, courageous, pioneering, action-oriented, and outspoken. And now with the moon being in Taurus, this may be flavored with uh, more persistence and stubbornness, more stick to -itiveness. Now another thing too is that it's important to look at other electional uh, transits that take place at the time of this lunar eclipse because they um, will be more amplified and intensified because they're taking place at the same time as the lunar eclipse. Now, transit Mars and Scorpio is going to make is going to be making an opposition to Jupiter and Taurus. Now, by itself, um, the aspect can suggest uh, tremendous all over optimism regarding one's actions. Um, when Mars is in Scorpio, people may uh, be more capable of physical related efforts that may have seen, uh, seemed unattainable or insurmountable. Now, however, the opposition to Jupiter can give over optimism in this. This transit may also manifest in overly vengeful actions, um, which is Mars and Scorpio actions as Mars venge, you know, vengeful behavior can be Scorpio. And, um, and also opposing someone um, stubbornly, which is Taurus, holding on to a viewpoint, which is Jupiter. Now, another thing of significance is other transits to points in your natal chart at this time, as they could be more accentuated and pronounced because they're taking place at the same time as this lunar eclipse. Transit Venus in Virgo is going to make a uh, tight sextile to my natal Mars and Cancer. Now this aspect may be favorable for Frugal, which is Virgo, I'm um, spending, which is Venus, in taking action, which is Mars, um, with a uh, domestic, which is Cancer situation that may involve a short journey, which is the third house. It may also be auspicious um, for a good blending of love, which is Venus. Uh, and it could be, you know, for me in my case, it could be extrapolating, which is Virgo, sports, which is the fifth house data. Um, some of you may know, I, you know, sometimes I do um, you know, football prediction videos during the NFL season. And it may be. Also, um, another example of how this transit may affect me is that it could be, you know, having, you know, that drive. I mean, you're talking about, um, you know, Mars, you know, being in the third house in Cancer, having that drive and motivation, which is Mars for introverted communications, having that blend in with the Venus and Virgo. Let me so sorry, be kind of rewind. You know, way this could manifest for me could be, you know, with the, um, you know, having, you know, that love, which is Venus, or extrapolating, which is Virgo, sports, that a sports is the fifth house, and having the drive and motivation, which is Mars, um, for introverted, which is Cancer, communications, which is the third house, and. Um, the fact that this is a lunar eclipse may give more significance to this. Now, lunar eclipses can often indicate the departure of a prominent female in one's life. And with this being a Taurus, it could be somebody that has a Taurus, a sun, moon, or ascendant, or embodies those characteristics. It could be someone that is very loyal, steadfast, persistent, persevering, patient, and stable. It could be somebody that is also overly um, stubborn, um, 
possessive, materialistic as some examples. Now, let's say if this falls in the seventh house as an example, it could be you know, a significant other, a marriage partner. If it falls in the fourth house, it could be a prominent family member. It could be the less dominant parent, which is often um, the mother. Well, which is often the mother. And it's the, um, also if it falls in the 11th house, it could be a prominent female friend. Now. The thing about this too is I believe lunar eclipses can be uh, serendipitous and something that may you know be initially be perceived as negative may actually translate into something um, could be something auspicious and for example let's say this lunar eclipse um, expresses itself for someone as the ending of some money-making endeavor or venture money is associated with Taurus um, but it could also be a uh, Taurus related position such as a job in financing, banking, stocks, geology, carpet laying, or agriculture as some examples. Now let's say the person is unexpectedly let go from their job as they're walking, uh, as they're walking down the road they make some discovery um, of someone's wallet which has a good amount of money and credit cards in it. Now the person returns it to the rightful owner and as a result the person receives a monetary reward and is offered a position from this person that pays more money than what was made at the job that he or she was terminated from. Now um, this lunar eclipse in Taurus it's going to make a tight conjunction to prolific NFL quarterback Aaron Rodgers ascendant. There has been some talk and speculation regarding Aaron Rodgers making this unprecedented return. I believe it was from some uh, Achilles injury. Now Taurus rules recuperative forces. I saw one post from a Facebook page that stated he could be ready as uh, early as week 8 of the NFL season. Now that would um, fall on the day um, after the eclipse, that would be October 29th, 2023. Now, could he make an announcement the day before that on the lunar eclipse that he is going to return soon? I really don't think he's going to be ready to return for week eight. Now, I believe that would be way too early. However, maybe he makes some announcement at this time um, in regards to the status of his injury and when he believes he can return uh, to the New York Jets. And another thing, um, a little concern on this one. Now, this lunar eclipse in Taurus is going to make a uh, conjunction to renowned actor uh, Lee Major's natal son in Taurus. Now, the sun in astrology has a connection with the uh, physical body. There may be some revelation or unveiling you know, regarding a physical related issue with him. Uh, being in Taurus, it may be something associated with the throat, uh, neck, thyroid, ears, or esophagus. It's going to fall in his eighth house. Now, the eighth house in astrology is associated with trauma and surgery. It will also um, at least make a loose in conjunct aspect to his natal ascendant. Now, this may reaffirm and reinforce something, you know, health-related. Um, in conjuncts can often be about adjustments. Um, it could be where he makes an announcement, though, regarding something um, that he is doing with his life because the sun is connected with one's life. The sun um, is also associated with what we may shine in, and it could be what he's doing with his life. The sun... Um, you know, the fact that this is going to be, um, you know, the full moon lunar eclipse can be about declaration, a declaration. And it can it may be something associated with acting because uh, Taurus has a connection with the arts. Now, um, on October 27, 2023, the day before the lunar eclipse in Taurus, our renowned singer Taylor Swift is going to release an album entitled uh, 1989 Taylor's Version. And uh, 
You know, the event itself may not seem like anything of great monumental importance. So, however, the fact this falls on the day before the lunar eclipse may give more significance and importance to this. The album, I believe, I mean, is likely going to be successful because it is coming out, um, you know, Taylor Swift is the one that is the artist of the album. So it should be, you know, it's fairly safe to say it's going to have certain success. Now, however, it may generate more money than even uh, Taylor Swift may have envisioned or anticipated. Lunar eclipses can be about, you know, unveilings and going public with something. Taurus is connected with um, the arts and it has a connection with the arts and that would include music. The lunar eclipse um, is going to conjoin Jupiter, which is associated with luck, affluence, and prosperity. Now, it's also going to make a sextile to Saturn and Pisces. The aspect may be auspicious for more success. It may generate more money than what was imagined. And this could be a positive um, day, an auspicious day for musicians in general, I believe, with that. Um, with the lunar, um, the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus making the conjunction to Jupiter and the sextile to Saturn in Pisces. And whether it's a musician, whether he or she is releasing an album or a single. Anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, I will learn it and stay well.